I'm Nigel Tracy and I'm going to show you some examples of packages that have been produced on the Hikon Euclid and how some of those unique values apply to you and your business. Okay, here we have a really nice example of a 500 micron craft material skillet job. It's something which you would look at and say is actually quite ordinary, but with the Hikon Euclid we've made it into something really quite special and quite nice. We've actually done a different kind of process on this bottom panel here. Instead of a traditional cut crease, what we've done is to make a full crease and on top of the crease put a laser cutting in certain areas. Now why would we do that? Well it's quite simple. We do that because it gives us control but also some variability. It's a controlled variability which allows us to actually decide what is the folding resistance for this panel. And of course we can adjust it as we need. Separately on this box as well, we have a zipper tear opening, which again, we can adjust uh, as much as we need to do. So we're really looking at the opening resistance to this particular panel here. And again, with the laser cutting on Hikon Euclid, it allows us to change and control that. Okay, here we have another really interesting example. This is a classic reverse tuck end, uh, so quite straightforward job. It's actually one of our drooper jobs that we produced on a 400 micron SBS material. Already we can see with these apertures here that we have something which can be quite variable. You see on the other box that we also have a different aperture. This we can change as much as we need to, or in fact as much as your customer needs to. Additionally as well, we have this Hikon text and logo cut out. And this is something which customers are very excited about. This is something which we can use for branding, but also for security applications as well. Very complicated to achieve, but of course with the Hikon Euclid laser, it's something which it does without even thinking about it. So here we have a really nice example of a chocolate box, which is produced on a 350 micron SBS material. It's quite a complex uh, product to achieve, as it has a number of really interesting features. Now, if we look, for example, at these top tabs, first of all, these have to be folded over with a very precise resistance. And that resistance is achieved with a scoring, where we can control the depth. So unlike a traditional process, where that would be quite hard to achieve, this for us is something we control in the computer. Separately on those areas, and also we will see on the glue flap, there is actually some scoring where we have scored through the varnish to allow the glue to have some good adhesion on there. And the final part on this box which makes it really interesting is the perforation we have here. Again, this is all for mechanical folding and to have a controlled fold mechanism for the filling and erection lines. So it makes this box something which is really already quite complex to give us something which is a really nice example of a Hikon Euclid job. Here we have a really nice example of a concept box that we've been working on at Hikon, really to show you some of the new values that we're able to put into some of this packaging. We have here a two-part crash lock box with some complicated cutouts that we can start to see here. We have some very nice edge detailing, very easy to achieve. And again, remember this is all variable and dynamic. It has an opening here for this two-part box, which also has some edge detailing here. And remember I said that it was crash lock, well, actually, when we look at the base, here we will see on the crash lock base, let's not forget on the downstream processes, we now have an ability to change the folding resistance of these 45 degree panels upstream. And we can control this and work with the downstream guys in folding and gluing. So we have a complex box with nice detailing, which for us with the Hikon Euclid, is very easy to achieve. And this is no more complex than any other box for us. Creativity, it's a topic that we use a lot within packaging and commercial printing applications, but it's also something which gives us some headaches and restrictions with our downstream and upstream processes. If we take, for example, classic complex layouts like these novelty layouts we see in front of us, these actually are really quite a headache to process, not anymore. With the Hikon Euclid, we have now with our laser cutting process, something which removes all of those headaches. We have small detailing that we will see on the sheet here, and actually the complexities that we see here, it doesn't change anything for us. As complex or as simple as it is, the machine will lap it up and will run this kind of material and these layouts very easily. 
Another good example are the nicks. The number and position, size of nicks as well. This is something we can not only minimize, but we can even change and play about with dynamically during the run. Normally, once you put a nick into a layout on a die cutting tool, it's fixed. It's nothing that can be changed. But now it's something which we can reduce, remove. We can actually play about with that to bring us a lot of flexibility. We've spoken a lot up to now about different carton designs and different pack styles, but let's not forget as well, we need to look at the substrate types. Here we have some different substrates that we run on the Hikon Euclid. We have craft virgin material, recycled materials and SPS materials. Then of course, in your mind, is going to be questions like, but what about coatings? Well, with water-based coatings and UV coatings, these are not an issue whatsoever. And additionally, when we think about the layouts, we can talk about composite layouts which are constantly changing when we gang different jobs together and with a digital workflow, this is something which uh, is very easy for Hikon. Just before I go, let's not forget that this whole process now is digital. It means anything we've done and described can be easily changed. We have it, of course, on our hard drive media and it means that it's totally and utterly dynamic and flexible.